Okay guys, we're going to start our first all grain, which is going to be a smash uh, of um, Maris Otter, 6 kilograms of Maris Otter, and Warrior Hops. So here we've got, oops, uh, turn that light off. And uh, here we've got the mash tun. Got to get back because uh, here's the mash tun, there's the boil pot, and there's the fermenter. So what we're doing at the moment is we're getting our mash, our strike water up to 68, 70 degrees. So I got these little, these little. Uh, these little immersion elements online for ten dollars fifty. So I'll just let my nephew take over the camera, and uh, we'll show you what we got. So we got our tap water was fifty four degrees. Oh no no. Okay. Okay, so first thing to do is to move that probe over to one side and to dump this in there, so you get a shot of in there, just like that, and I'm not going to use both elements until I'm boiling. And there we have it. I'll just slip that in there. And so there's the element doing its thing. And if you can, it's kind of, you know, it's immediately firing up because it's, uh, it's um, 2000 watt elements, 220 volts. So we should be in business fairly quick anyway I'll get back to it once uh, my strike water is up to temperature and then we'll do in both immersion elements in there and as you can see that one's pumping and that one's pumping and we're now at 63.9 degrees I'm shooting for around 68, 70 because uh, this mash tun needs to uh, needs to uh, warm up and absorb the temperature uh, of the um, the grains. 63.9. So what I do is just every once in a while. Uh, spoon. I give it a a little stir. Oop. I give it a little stir just to equalize all the temperatures in there. Yeah, so we're at sixty. 66.8 so what I might do is just quickly unplug one of those elements I've unplugged that one and uh, I will remove it and if you could just put that in the sink just Put it in there and leave that over the side. And so that took about sixty seven point five. That took about 
from tap, hot tap uh, temperature to almost at the strike temperature. That took about five minutes to heat up, so that's good. I'll be right back when I've... Uh, I'm going to transfer the water into the mash tun and... Uh, I will be right with you uh, as soon as we're this is a new experience for me but it can only get better from here it can only get better we hit our, our uh, strike temperature of um, pre-strike temperature of 70 and we're now transferring it into the mash tun and we're, we're now transferring it into the, the old uh, mash tun I mean we're getting there. We are getting there. So I will try and close this down as much as I can. There we go. And if you take that lid. and I lean it forward because the hole's pretty much at the bottom and this is my boil pot uh, strike water pot so and we're pretty much going to get all of that Okay, chuck the lid on there, mate. Uh, and we'll close that off. And we will be back in just a tick when I've lifted this up on top of the keys. We're in the mash tun. And we're at 66.1, uh, which is not bloody bad. I might just... Uh, Give that a jiggle around. 65.9. I reckon we're just about right. 66.1. I'm thinking it's dough in time. And uh, to, to dough in, uh, I'm just going to have to grab a chair. I'll be right back. Our grains. And... Uh, I don't really know the best way to do this. It's pretty hard doing it on your own. But uh, I'm just going to... looking pretty good so far so we'll go with the second half and if I get dough balls I get dough balls you know it's hard doing this on your own Pretty good. What 
add the rest sort of slowly. This is a consistently consistency of three liters per kilogram of grain. So I've got six kilograms of grain, so I've got 18 liters of water. And the final bit. done. Oh, we need a temperature probe in there. Let's see what temperature we've got. Now let's hope we're hitting the right strike temperature. hit 64. We've hit 60. We'll be back in a minute. So we've finished uh, the mash and now we're going to we are going to recirc some of the uh, the wart. I think you call that ball off or whatever it is. And till we get clear grains. Till we set the grain bed. I'll probably do two or three of these. We'll be back in a minute. We've got this uh, strainer and uh, it fits nicely in the uh, mash tun and we're going to uh, vol off or whatever you call it. I'm not 100% um, familiar with the term. start to run clear um, fairly shortly so we it's actually relatively clear at the moment but we're just setting the grain bed at the moment Jubbly jubbly.
Okay. I'm going to pull this back in there. This is definitely a nighttime brew because uh, it's currently, oh, I don't know what the time is. Uh, I think it's eight, just after eight <coughs> o'clock. And as you can see, if you have a look in there, it's coming in fairly clear. I'll do a couple more of these. It's a very non-intrusive smelling, uh, yeah, it's very nice. Okay, we'll just uh, cut the filming now. So we've, uh, it's very dark in here, but we've got the, uh, the wort coming out of there. And it's filling up, it's very nice and clear. And uh, it is what it is, guys, and I will be back when we do the boil okay so we've now got our and we're gonna add our sparge water hoping that my temperature is going to be right. and we'll be back shortly. I'm going to leave that 10 minutes to um, to uh, soak up the uh, last of the sugars and then we've got it over there, the mash tun and uh, we're getting there. It's been a big day. It's been uh, it's been three uh, two two hours so far and I've still got the boil to go and the wort uh, the chilling of the wort to go and um, we'll uh, post this up and in three weeks I will post a taste test and we'll see what it's like 
it is um, it is a pleasure to be doing all grain, all grain for the freaking win. Okay, so we've got our two immersion 2000 watt uh, um, immersion elements. They're going into. The, we've uh, drained our sparge, and I'm about to plug them in. Let's make sure they're both working. And we're going to start our boil. Okay, that one's working. And we'll just unplug that. Yep, they're both working. So... We're starting to um, get somewhere with this all grain and uh, we'll be back when we've got it up to a boil and we do our hop additions and um, good brewing means good beer. As always guys, 17. Cheers. It's achieving the boil. You little ripper. And it took about about 20 minutes to get to the boil. So that was pretty goddamn good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug one of these elements once I get to a good rolling boil. And... What a beautiful rolling boil. Would you look at that. Would you look at that. That is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly quit out of this for a second. And I'll be right back when I've removed one element and we've got a nice rolling boil. Our first edition of... Uh, 20 grams of uh, warrior hops, there's 10, there's 20, and we will start the timer for our 45 minute edition at 10 grams and our 30 minute edition at 10 grams. Um, yeah, we will return. And, uh, here we go with our, our uh, 10 gram 45 minute uh, hop edition. There we go. And uh, we will let that, it's, it's a fairly slow rolling boil, but it is a rolling boil nonetheless. And this is my first time doing all grain and I'm loving it. That alarm. You gotta love that alarm. And uh, I will now go over and add my last edition of uh, at 30 minutes of uh, 10 grams of warrior hops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And here it goes. There it goes. 10 grams of warrior. At 30 minutes. And uh, that is it. And we are, we are hoping that we've come down to... Let me just see where we're sitting at. got about 25 litres in there so I might need to do a 90 minute boil uh, just depends anyway we'll get on with it um, I'm gonna add it says to add one teaspoon per 20 litres of wort so I'm gonna add one teaspoon and there we 
go. And I'm also going to add my wart chiller. Just to sanitize it. Why is that not coming over? And uh, there's the wart chiller in there. It's it's in there. And uh, we will proceed to. Um, I've had a couple of beers, of course, as you do when you brew. And um, we will proceed to uh, ride out the next 10 minutes with the wart chiller in there sanitizing and the um, Irish moss doing its thing and uh, I will get on with uh, showing you guys uh, it going into the fermenter I don't know how many liters I've got I'm thinking it's slightly over 20 but I'm hoping it's not too much over. Anyway, we'll get back to it. Okay, so we've got the uh, the wart chiller in. Here it is. The wart chiller's in, and we just we're just uh, giving it a bit of movement, and we've gone down to 62 degrees 61 I tell you what it pays to move these wart chillers around eh and we'll uh, we'll come back when we've got it coming into the fermenter here it is 20 I was shooting for 20 liters and I got 20.5 liters and the final gravity or the original gravity is uh, 1.060 so we were pretty close and I'm just going to pitch the yeast dry um, it is what it is there it is USO 5 and I will get my stirring spoon and mix that in And there she lies. Beatastic artwork. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And uh, this is my first all grain. So in three weeks I will do a, because of a month, because it will be a week to 10 days in the fermenter and it'll be three weeks in the keg so cheers and thank you guys for all your kind words and support uh, and uh, do watch out for my cast on uh, Vaughan Live um, cheers Drink good beers.